This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and welcome back to Taiko Series. So uh, in this particular uh, video, we will be talking about different page actions, methods are available in Taiko. Earlier, we have already seen what are different browser actions are there. Now it's time to see what are our different page actions are there. So very simple. So what I'll do, I'll just quickly go to my Taiko terminal. So this is a Taiko terminal. And from the Taiko terminal, what exactly I'll do first, I'll open a browser. So open the browser, fine. So browser will be open and uh, I'll shift this particular browser towards the right side so that we can see whatever it's happening on the browser. After that, there is a method, go to method. And here in go to method, you can pass any URL. Let's see, www.google.com, okay? You see the google.com is getting open. You can even pass simple without HTTP and without www dot also. Like this also, you can open it, right? If you really want to pass it like this, let's see facebook.com, you simply say facebook.com, facebook.com will be open on the same page like this. But in Selenium, you have to pass HTTP is compulsory, but here it's not compulsory. You can directly pass google.com, facebook.com without HTTP and without a www dot also you can pass it. Now, if you remember that uh, we always see this problem that, okay, sometimes whenever you hit this particular URL, you are getting this particular authentication and notification like this, uh, the pop-up like this, that username, password, this authentication pop-up and here you have to pass your username, password like this. And the username, password is admin, admin, but you are not able to inspect it. So how will you handle it? Same thing over here, you simply write, go to copy paste this particular URL and what would you do? You simply pass after HTTP colon slash slash, you simply pass admin colon admin at the rate, the complete URL, and then you hit enter. You will see that uh, basic authentication is done. Congratulations. You must have the proper credentials. It means I'm able to log in into the system properly like that, right? Okay. Now, how will you reload? So I'll do one thing. I'll just uh, go to facebook.com once again. So open facebook.com. I want to reload this page. Reload means refresh this page. So in Selenium, we have this method, driver.navigate.refresh method. Here we say simple reload the page. And which page? Whatever the page you want to reload, let's see facebook.com. You can pass it like this, facebook.com. You just pass the URL and it will reload. You see, page is getting reloaded. I'll reload it again. See, it's getting reloaded. So reload also, you can do it. Same other navigation methods are available. Same other navigation methods are available. Like uh, go back and go forward. So simple say, I want to go back. Uh, let's see. Go back method is there. Go back to the previous page. So simple go back. So go back to the previous page is this, like this, right? And let's see, I'll go to uh, google.com once again, google.com. And then I'll go to facebook.com, right? Go to facebook.com. Now I want to go back to Google once again. So simple, right? Go back and then enter, go back. Same thing, you will get uh, go forward. So you can simulate the browser forward button. So how exactly we can do this back and forward button, right? So. Okay, through Tyco, we can see go back and go forward. So simple, right? Go forward. So go forward button is there and uh, simple, you click on go forward. Now see, like that. Again, you click on go back, go back to Google. Go forward, go forward to facebook.com like that. Right? Simple. Okay, then we have, how will you get the title of the page? Just like in Selenium, driver.getTitle, here you simply type title. Title is a method. You see <clears throat> whatever the title is there, Facebook login or sign up. You see the same title is getting printed on the console. I'll do one thing. I'll go back uh, to Google and then I'll get the title. Now see the title of the page is Google over here. So you can simply pass the title and the method, and then it will give you, it will return the title of the page, right? So go forward is done, go title is done, reloading is done, go to is done, and uh, what else? 
yeah so these are different commands guys are available uh, for page actions so okay let me check okay yeah go forward reload uh, go to and uh, yeah all these methods are available very straightforward very simple and uh, you guys can easily okay use these method in your script right so other than that uh, let me check can i cover any other method no because other method you need the web element so web element concept i'll tell you in the next session so that is i think uh, enough for you guys for this uh, scroll up and scroll into all those things also I'll, I'll okay i'll take in the next session when we cover about the uh, web elements part right so these are different methods are available guys and uh, you can practice and you can let me know if you have any other yeah one more thing get current url also one method is there that i was actually looking into it get current url method whatever the current url is going on it will give you that specific url so simple yeah see see google.com now i'll do one thing i'll just go forward and then i'll try to get the current url and then whatever the current url for facebook.com it will give you current url same thing driver.get current url is available right so like this all these methods are available now what i'll do i'll generate this entire script into uh, a code so simple write dot code you see that entire script is available over here and then i'll do one thing i'll uh, export this particular script into a dot javascript file dot js file so let's see i'll say uh, page actions dot or uh, page actions okay typo dot js whatever the name you want to give and then the code will be generated in this particular file and i'll search this particular file it will be stored at my home directory so let's see this is a page action.js you just simple you can see open this particular page action.js this is the exact file available over here and you remember that okay i actually put two spaces so you can remove these spaces like this these extra lines so this is a complete script got generated you can execute this particular script in VS Code in the tool, or you can directly execute from the terminal. So I'll do one thing, I'll save it on my desktop. So I'll go to save as, and uh, on my desktop, page action typer.js, and you simply save it. And when you save it, you just close it, you go back to your terminal. Let's you go to a new uh, window. This is the terminal, and we will try to, first of all, let me close this particular browser. And I'll go to my desktop. So simple, go to CD uh, desktop. And here you simply write typo page actions typo.js file, right? .js. So this is a file available on my desktop. And then you can execute the script directly from your terminal and then enter. Now you see the browser is getting open. But the moment you hit this particular command, it will ex it will be executed in headless mode, right? So let me terminate it. I want to execute in non-headless mode. So I simply write hyphen hyphen observe. And now you see the browser is getting open. And one by one, all the commands will be executed. You can see navigate to google.com. And for every command, it should be a green, green check like this. Navigate to google.com, then navigate to facebook.com. Then the next command will be something uh, navigate to this particular url with admin admin right after that again navigate to facebook.com let's see after that we actually reloaded two times facebook.com reloaded see reloaded first time reloaded second time then let's see what is the next section the next section is clicking on the browser back button see browser back button again navigating to google.com after that, navigating to facebook.com once again, and then again, clicking on the browser back button once again to google.com, browser forward button like this, right? Again, forward button to reach at the facebook.com. So all these execution, all these steps are running properly, clicking on browser back button. So like that, you can simulate, you can generate the script and you can execute one by one. Let's see what else. We are getting clicking on see again browser back but forward button. So so many back and forward we actually did like this and then everything is done and then closed. 
right? So it will not print title and current URL over here because we are not storing in a particular variable and we are not printing anything on the console through the script. So we have to write console.log and then you have to print it like that. So that I'll tell you later, but you can see all the scripts, all the script steps are absolutely working fine over here like that. Right, guys? So I'm sure you guys are liking this particular series and liking Tyco, very straightforward, very fast and very simple. And uh, if you are similar, uh, familiar with the uh, Selenium web driver, then easily you can work with Tyco also. That's not a big deal. Okay, so that's all for this particular video, guys. Thanks for watching and please click on notification button. Notification icon is there on my YouTube channel so that you will not miss any notification for the new videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks a lot.